Okay, today I'm going to show you how to actually observe mitosis by preparing a root tip squash. For this, I'm going to use onion or garlic root. So this is a little clove of garlic that's been suspended over some water in a test tube and it's actually started to grow down roots. Now the reason that we choose roots for this is that the tips of roots have special tissue called meristem where the cells are undergoing mitosis. So the first step in our procedure is to cut the 0.5 centimetres, 5 millimetres ish of a number of root tips and place them in a watch glass. Easier said than done. There we go, we've got a couple there. Okay. Right, next job, we need to add a stain, and for this procedure, we use something called acetic orsin stain. But before we add the stain, we need a drop of hydrochloric acid. So I'm going to add there some two molar hydrochloric acid to my root tips. Okay, maybe a little bit more. And then we need an equal volume of acetic orsin stain, which smells rather vinegary because of the acetic acid in there. The next step, we actually have to heat the mixture and quite a lot of the liquid will evaporate. Now the safest way to do this is to use a hot plate. Okay, so you need to turn the hot plate onto a hot setting and gently heat the mixture there for five minutes, watching it carefully. You don't want it to dry out, but you do want the stain to penetrate the root tips and you do want the most of the liquid there to evaporate. After five minutes, you should find that it looks something like that. At this point, you can actually turn your hot plate off and carry on with the staining procedure. Now, one of the questions you could be asked in an exam is why is it important to stain the root tips? The answer to this, of course, is that staining increases contrast so that the chromosomes become visible. Okay, our next step then, we have to transfer the root tip squash, there, the root tips, to a clean microscope slide. And then we're going to add one drop of the original acetic arsine stain. And then we're going to cover it with a cover slip. And then we're going to use a folded piece of paper towel to blot dry, but at the same time to apply a little bit of pressure so that the root tip forms this thin squash. Now it's really important that we have a thin layer because we're going to observe this with an optical microscope and it has to be thin enough to transmit the light. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the paper towel on top and I'm going to use the side of my hand to roll, to squash. Now I'm not using my thumb here because that would just break the cover slip. So you need to sort of distribute the pressure evenly. Okay. We're now ready to observe the slide under a standard laboratory microscope. Now what we should see, if our technique has been successful, and I do warn you that often it's not, okay, it's very difficult sometimes to get this to work, are cells in all of the different stages of mitosis. So for example, here we can see some cells that are clearly still in interface. We can tell that because the nucleolus is clearly visible there inside the nucleus of each cell. Um, if you look carefully, you'll also see cells in different stages of mitosis. For example, here, there's clearly something going on along the centre of the cell, so that would be a cell in metaphase. This cell here, you can clearly see the chromosomes appear to be moving to the opposite ends of the cell. So this is a cell in anaphase. And if we look carefully, here, there's a cell that's almost finished mitosis, Clearly, we've got two nuclei forming there. That is telophase. Um, the only stage we haven't spotted so far is prophase, and I'm having a careful look. 
and I don't think we can spot one. Okay, let's have a look on a different picture, see if we can see it there. This is the same technique, but using a slightly stronger stain that wouldn't be allowed in schools. This cell here looks like it's now starting to enter prophase. Okay, and this one here, the chromosomes are starting to become visible and the nucleolus has disappeared. The nuclear envelope seems to have disintegrated. Okay.